Not. Holy shit, we're live. That was quick. What's up, everybody? YouTube not shitting on us? I'm not sure what to do, TJ. Not sure if I shit, believe shit. it. How's everybody doing? What's up, everybody out there? I see uh, meters in the chat. Kenny V. OR Church. Redneck Vapors out there. Socrates, who are redacting his own um, shit out there. All right. Gave him a wrench and he's <laughs> wrenching himself. All right, got it, whatever. Yeah. Stay down. And <laughs> VRV's out in the house. <laughs> fuck this username is here. Hey, fuck. What's oh, up, FTU? Look at that. John, John Carlos out here as well already. Early. Church, Church what are you talking about? John Too Carlo? fucking expensive. There you go, John Carlo. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> See West End's mm -hmm. out there. Um, West Cochran's in the house. What's up, West? King Jig's West out there. West just went to In and Out Burger. I'm jealous. West double double with Monster Fries, man. What's up, Nikki? Nikki B's in the house. What's up, Nikki B? Every time your cat washes himself, he's worshiping the Dark Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have too much oh, fucking time on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you found that T-shirt company that makes all those based on cats. Oh, I, I done, I done found that. <laughs> done found that, my friend. The hell was that? That uh, one game my brother was playing a couple of years ago with the little rainbow cat. Fucking, I forget. Nyan cat. Nyan cat. Yeah. Fucking yeah, awesome. uh, church Everybody just pasted a link. No, church, 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 fuck that thing. It, it is looks sexy. Like looks like it's gonna cost six hundred dollars. No, nah, it's three fifty, but it's eighteen six fifty. Uh, I got dual eighteen six fifties. Spent eighty bucks. I, I do like the. I will give them credit though. After I did watch that video, I like how it's just a push in, pull out thing, not the fucking the bottle. That is, yeah, that is clever, but I want to know how it works in reality because it's easy to make it look that smooth with animation. Yeah. I want to see a person doing it in real life while he's driving. It's a vicious ant, so it's going to be half decent at least. Uh, right, right. But it's still, it's a, it's a long reach with animation to show for it at this point. So this is my, assault is all I'm saying. my one question is, is since this is going to be like a pressure point system, how bad is the fucking leaking on that thing going to be right there? I think it actually has like a little nub, like a barb that grabs a hold of the stem. Uh, and if that's the case, cool, because that'll help alleviate that. But I still have a feeling that okay. might be a messy bitch. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, he means like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got it. That's right, Lifa. Yeah, look at, look at it, 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 it is fugly. I was going to say, looking at some of the computers with the specs that Life was quoting the other night, that's what I felt like. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Build it yourself. You can build a future proof PC I can't, I can't for it. like, oh, dude, if I can do it, you can. I, I would talk to Life. Be like, hey, Life, bring, bring it on out to Iowa. I'll put some pig on the smoker. So we'll build See? it and have a good meal. Good afternoon. Go. And, I I'm sure sure like to meat. and there's your extra, I hope your extra $600 you spent. Flying out here fresh was worth it. Get. Get. <laughs> okay, bye. The wife you go. Go home soon. Get. He'd probably give you he'd probably be nice enough to give you one of those Leafa stickers to put on the side of your tower to take home. He just slaps me upside the head with it. <laughs> right. Stick one right there, crooked on your fucking cheek as you're walking out the door. That's right. Free shipping. Right? I, Tell your friends, I did, bitch. <laughs> I did Life, tell is my... there an Airbnb around here? This is a small town. <laughs> we don't do Airbnb. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I did have to explain this to the wife tonight because I slipped yeah. up. She was making an online order to box because <laughs> we buy a lot of paper products and stuff. I go, um, make sure you use coupon code pink pussy. And she's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, ah. <laughs> wrong site, wrong site. It's <laughs> universal. It's universal. It she's like, everywhere. really? You have a coupon code and it's pink pussy. Like, what? Nick. I was drunk. Of course, I do. <laughs> of course I do. Why wouldn't I? 
do you remember that night you peeled me off the floor? It all right. started there. That's exactly, right, exactly how my explanation was. <laughs> there you go. That's what I was going to say. Just tell her to watch the replay if she doesn't remember yeah. where that code came from. Oh, uh, the, the legend. The legend of the pink pussy. <laughs> Hashtag so, uh, that that story that story just had us all enthralled, and then it just, like it it just went places that we didn't expect, and we're like, man, this is this is just it's it's a good story. At, at least it went in good directions. I, to it be definitely. honest, I was fuck waiting. You fresh, fuck you, TJ. It could have went there. It, it, it could have <laughs> happened. You know what I was waiting for that whole time? You were saying that the drunker you got, I was waiting for you to say. We call ourselves the aristocrats and just fucking and walk <laughs> off. I was like, yeah. I was waiting for it. I was like, it's got to be coming with all of this. <laughs> that would have been perfect. But the girls never came. <laughs> <laughs> you used to say pink lungs are good. And I see pink pussy. I thought was being trolled. <laughs> <laughs> TJ, you can't drop that Euro Trip quote in. Most people don't know what that movie is. That's all right. I guess that's Euro just... Trip. That's would... how you know who to feel bad for. I would think most people have seen that. You know, I mean, it was there, what there early, is early two a... thousands. Kids today are too entwined in Pineapple Express and that idiocy. There is an actual movie where they go to each comedian and ask their version of, of the aristocrats. Yeah, we I made everybody yeah. watch that. Gilbert Gro- Gilbert Godfrey killed it. And the dirtiest See, motherfucker in the word. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Bob Saget. Just dirty as hell. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, Bob Saget. Think His comedy specials, if you ever get a chance to watch Bob Saget's comedy specials, they're, they're, oh, they're are, glorious. They're fucking insane, but they're glorious. Spend 10 years on a family show, and that's the only thing you're known for besides America's Funniest Home Videos. Right? You got to think, he's like the grown up male version of a Miley Cyrus. He went for that fucking family friendly look for way too fucking long, and when they uncorked that bottle, <laughs> this came out. <laughs> the genie's out. He ain't yeah, you ain't, yeah, you ain't putting that shit back in the bottle either. That's out for keeps. <laughs> oh, what was that song? He, what was that song he sings? It's uh, Uncle Jesse isn't gay or something like that. Oh. Like he's talking, he's talking, he's talking about how he, he was having sex with Kimmy Gibbler the whole time. And- mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and then if you want to look up, look up the guy who played Biff Tannen. He does stand up as well. Really, and he he has a song all about about Back to the Future. Mm-hmm. It's, it's all like people ask me, "How is Michael J. Fox? He's nice." And he goes through all the common yeah. questions and it gets asked. <laughs> <sighs> well, Giz must be fishing or in YouTube jail. Stop drinking the wife's beer. Nice. Is your uncle still dealing with things? Anybody yeah. heard from him? Uh, I talked to him earlier today. He's still dealing with things, so uh, I told him. <laughs> when I got that in the email today, I was like, oh, gives us out fishing. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that was an all nighter guaranteed. There you go, Brizzle. Yeah, Danny Tanner is not gay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, TJ, you come to Houston yet? No, I'm not. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to tell you guys fuck you because you all get to go and I can't. Mm-hmm. You can't it's put not yourself a... in a UPS box and overnight yourself? No. It's not an applicable applicable answer. Do you know how much I weigh? It's going to cost me more in shipping than it would to buy a fucking plane ticket. Well, Just buy a plane catch ticket. a Greyhound. Catch a Greyhound. It's fairly cheap. Yeah, by the Greyhound time I got there, I'd have to turn around and come right back in order to make it to work on Monday. Yeah, you Greyhound's not as, bus. not as cheap as it used to be. I mean, Amtrak's super cheap, but it'll take Amtrak's you weeks to get still, there. Yeah, Amtrak's still super cheap. Yeah, because you'd have to like go out to New York, down to Florida, and then over to 
over to Houston. Yeah, it's like I was trying to get an Amtrak to Foxwoods because it was like 120 bucks, but it takes four days. Yeah. I can't take that fucking time off work. I don't even have the time yep, off to, available right now. Over to over to like over to like Tampa, and then you can go and then you can head north. Yeah. Yeah. Even from here to Montana, it's it's like a ten hour drive for me to get home. It's a tw- it's a twenty four hour plane or uh, train trip. But sometimes I mean sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes it it's could weird, be because it's really nice. He's got those great big massive seats, and you're just sitting there, you know, as long as you can get a window seat, just relaxing. You get to meet the Australians that are traveling across the country. I swear to God. There's always Australians on the on the train. It doesn't matter what form of transportation you're running. I've, every time I've traveled somewhere, I run into at least one Aussie. Yeah. Like, when I go international, that's always, what, that's always what I ask myself, is how long before I run into an Aussie? And it... It usually it usually does not take very long. Speak of the devil. What's up, Pippa? Yeah. Pippa. <laughs> Speaking of which, it never takes long. <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> no. Nice West. West Nick Solutions on its way. Hell yeah. Teal moving in the right direction. Oh yeah. I've told that I've told that Canadian story a couple times when I was going out to Tofino, like we got on the ferry to start going north to Canada. I was like, I was like, all right, how long is it going to take? How long is it going to take for there's an Australia, an Australian? You know, I just thought it to myself. Sure enough, there's an Australian with a little dog like right down the right down the deck from me. It's like, ah, oh, oh, look at you, look at you talking to his dog. It's like, I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. It can't be that. Way. <laughs> sure enough. Sure enough. Oh, and Paul's up there too. What's up, Paul? Yep. <laughs> they all got their phones. We all go and walk about. <laughs> there were awesome. there were Aussies in, there were Aussies that weren't in the army that were in Iraq, and I'm not sure what they were doing there, but you know they were there. They were in Afghanistan too. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Come. They 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 got fucking bugs in Australia more dangerous than the Afghani nationals. True. <laughs> True that, could be, that could be where like Aussie uh, Amish go on Rumspringa. You never know. Rumspringa. <laughs> oh, just the thought you of the climate's right. close to home. There, that you know there is a e liquid line out there called the Amish. Uh, there's like an Amish line, and one of their flavors is Rumspringa. Wow. I so want to get that. I want to get that line. I don't know. That sounds like it might taste salty. <laughs> it, it tastes salty and full of regret. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Comes with a bus ticket home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to hell. <laughs> you, got this, you got this small little tattoo on your ankle that you got to keep covered for sure now. <laughs> I'm, oh, I still think your uncle should bring his tattoo stuff yeah. to Houston. I'd have him working on a full sleeve all weekend, though. Like, what's up, dude? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> we got fucking twenty hours. You're going to be working. Don't even move. You don't. You don't. You don't sleep. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the needle will keep me awake. Let's do this thing <laughs> for a while. We got. We got like four. We got like four days, homie. Right. <laughs> So, so fresh Just instead of like case of Dr. instead Pepper. of the instead of the barbed wire, we want it. We want an eight coil stainless steel fused triple clamped in. <laughs> yeah. Just like going going through vaporized pictures, like yeah, that one, <laughs> that one, that's, that's the one I want. It. <laughs> that that starts up here and runs down, and then you're gonna cross it with a Nick Devine running down this way, and then I need you to put a <laughs> bunch of cats in there, a right. cat, goon food wrist bracelet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Can you do a stapled fuse on my wrist, Yunkle? Please. <laughs> if that was done right, that could be pretty badass. Yeah. That's got potential for badassery. Does but that's also got potential work? to see, like, broed out guys with fucking team fucking... Vape like us, 
<laughs> no, you know what would be bad is you get you get that coil going around, and you're walking through some college campus, and and one of the frat boys walks up and goes, "Dude, you got barbed wire too?" No. <laughs> oh, God, I I could never go to a college town again. Bro, we got the same tattoo. No, no, we don't. No, we really don't. <laughs> oh, look, it's bush. Oh, look, it's a bush light. <laughs> yeah. Here, blue smoothie. That's right. Uh, fuck. Oh, wait, you've got a fedora on. Here's a PBR. Run I was going to say unclaimed PBR. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking stocks, you get a PBR. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> what's so what's the show that? all about, Dickhead? Oh, we yeah, got what two is the dickheads. show about, Dickhead? We got two dickheads. I really don't know. That's why I put who's next, because I have no fucking clue. There was only one thing I wanted to touch on, and it is not vape-related. I want people to know that they are free to unsubscribe to my channel if you are one of those racist cocksuckers who have any inkling to go do any of the dumb shit that's going on. I don't give a fuck what color you are. You're white, black, brown, yellow, green, purple. I'm fucking racist in one way or another. Feel free to get the fuck out of my fucking channel. But that's just You know what I you know what I really dislike? I like the fa- I just really dislike the fact that that people act so poorly to each other at this point. And they, they, they all just hide behind the excuse of I'm just keeping it real. It's like, See, dude, you're not, keep it, you're not keeping it real. I'm in a weird yeah. point in that conversation. Like, I understand. Like, I'm, I'm not saying I agree with or I empathize with, but I can see where both sides of that argument come from. My problem with that whole situation is the actions of a few ignorant fuckboys have ruined the ability for the rest of us to enjoy tiki torches. True. Yes. Because dipshits have fully embraced those as their new torch of protest, the rest of us can't enjoy a backyard fucking tiki lantern anymore. Because now you're automatically associated with those dipshits. You ruined my summer, summer. fuckboys. You ruined my summer. It's the end of summer, and they were going to go on sale at Walmart. I say, I say, exactly. I say, take it back, meter. Take it back. I mean, it's about to that point. We're going to have to have a have a have a diversity barbecue. Right. Invite, all, invite all of your your ethnic, ethnically diverse slash slash community but diverse folks that you know, and have a barbecue with tiki torches. Take it back, meter. Uh, we're we're gonna have to start something. The more I see that shit blow up on every fucking news thing that I see now, I hang. I want to hang my head in shame because I'm fucking ashamed to be associated with. The United States at this point because of that shit. Bad enough with some other things we got going on, but this, that's not what we were built on. No. Yeah, we made a lot of mistakes. We've uh, alleviated some of them, not all of them, because there's still a lot that there's problems with. However, don't come out and be a fucking moron. Yes, you have oh, the right to free speech, but when it infringes on someone else, it's no longer free. Exactly. That's that whole that kicker that people don't understand about free speech. If you're infringing on someone else's rights with the way that you're doing something or expressing yourself, that's no longer a freedom. That's not how that was intended to work. Yeah. Stop abusing the fucking system. If you want to be that fucktard, keep it to your goddamn self. Keep it to your little group. It doesn't need to be out in the fucking open. We don't care about you. Um, Last time I checked, and Fresh can back me up on this one. I'm sure everyone else on the panel, even being nominal, I understand this. We go into a foreign country where we're at war. They don't give a fuck what color we are. Nope. They'll shoot every one of us dead because we're fucking American. Because they can no, hit us. Yeah. Has no nothing to do with what your fucking skin color is. So if you are one of yeah. those cocksuckers on either side of the fence, I don't care which side it is, feel free to unsubscribe. 
I won't feel bad for you leaving at all. I love everyone who shows up here, but if you're one of those cop suckers, <laughs> go fuck yourself. I mean, I don't know. It's one of those things people people misunderstand what the U.S. is what the U.S. is about. The U.S. is about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It never promised you you were going to be happy with things. That's right. It's the, it's called the pursuit for a reason, not being happy. Exactly. Exactly. You make your you make your own happiness. If you, if your if your happiness involves being fucking miserable and trying to make other people miserable, guess what? That that's not what this country's about. That's it. So on that note, I sorry, sorry, sorry to sorry to all my old racist uncles in Montana that I don't talk to. My bad, homies. <laughs> I don't even feel bad. I I've had racist motherfuckers in my family who I just never talked to. Once I found out, I was like, deuces. Yep. yep. Exactly. Good fucking luck. Hopefully you don't get killed by somebody because you're a dumb shit. Um, other than that, I'm out. You no need to contact me because I won't contact you back. But anyhow, back on to happier things. Oh. What are you cocksuckers <laughs> well, doing dead, in Houston? Dead rabbit. Oh, and there's donuts. You know, there's no donuts there. You're just holding up popcorn, Lethal. I know, right? Speaking of all of this new shit and coming out i was saying earlier um for you guys that didn't know i had shingles the last couple weeks i'm finally kicking them up to the point where they're just fucking itchy now and cabin over doing the healing shit so if anybody doesn't know um i'm a single income family so just myself the missus is an at-home mom my way to buy vape gear has always been go and donate plasma you have shingles you can't donate so i've been living on a $40 $40 budget that I haven't spent any of for the last fucking month now because of the shingles. So, everybody who's got all new shit, keep it to yourself. I don't want to fucking know about it. Actually, I do, because I'm fucking jealous. <laughs> it's okay, I'm jealous too. Hold um, on. I mean, I could run up my credit card <laughs> bill, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so, you don't want to know. You don't want to know what I'm vaping. Or, or this one. I, I really do. I, it just makes me jealous. That's all. Good. That would be. The oh, aura by DJ LSB Vapes. How is that? It's if you like squonking, it's going to be the best squonking atomizer you buy. I haven't squonked yet, so can't say that I would like it or not. It's. I mean, I'm not a squonker. I haven't taken it off this I haven't taken it off the squonk setup except for to run a couple like really low build tests on. It's good. It's a really good RDA. Um comes out Monday? Monday? No, the twenty fifth. Yeah. Like a, a week, week from today. today. Yeah, it's next week. Yeah, next Thursday or Friday it comes out. So is it gonna have a US distributor or is it all gonna be Yeah. All right. It'll be uh my V Pro. Um the cloudy vapor has it. So, who's the maker behind it? Is it Vandy Vapes? No, no it's Digi uh, Flavor. Digi Flavor. Digi Flavor Flavor's yeah. making it. Digi Digi Flavor, I... aka yeah, Digi Flavor, aka Geek Vape. Geek Vape Part Two. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, I've been same same. I've been rather limited in my time on Instagram and everything with this new fucking house, trying to get everything sh- in fucking order. I haven't had time to look at all the new shit, and then. I've seen well, this is going to be less than 30 bucks. So it's worth the fucking buy regardless then. Yeah. Yeah, How's I mean it? the build the build the build is super simple if you like MTurk decks. Like it's 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 similar to an MTurk deck. You can kind of see it. Okay, yeah. Look at those fucking screws though. Like you can you can ratchet oh, yeah. down on this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, there's some big bastards. Nice. I, lo- I, I love it. I, to be honest, I, I like those bigger screws rather than some of those little small inset ones because th- they're just easier yeah. to work with. You don't have to fuck around with an itty bitty goddamn Allen key trying to. Yeah. That's honestly one of the biggest reasons I have used for not buying some of the newest shit that I've seen lately. Yeah. I'm at a point now, the, the builds that I run, and I'm not even on the crazier end of the spectrum, but generally speaking, the builds that I run are too hot and have too much wire in them 
for an Allen key to screw down and hold effectively and make good contact with. My shit's yeah, usually big enough. I need either a flat screw or a clamp to hold shit down right. Yeah, that's why this. That's why I think this thing. I think this is going to become kind of a builder's favorite. Um, How's the uh, airflow? Because on you it? can use a you can use a full size screwdriver on this thing. Nice. That's nice. Yeah. So how's the what? How's the airflow on it? Is it? Um, it's whatever. It's whatever you want. It goes for. It goes from wide open breathing to you can cut it down to mouth to, like the tiniest mouth along that you want. Nice. Yeah. So you can use a use it as a snorkel and so a is it, uh, if is you it, want to. You could. <laughs> so is it? It's bottom airflow. Bottom airflow. Nice. <laughs> but it's but the the actual the actual airflow airflow holes actually run up the sides of the deck. And, and they're slightly raised above the deck. Yeah. Once again. Uh, all right. That's the airflow right there, right below the coil. That's cool. It's different. Yeah. It's good. I like it. If you guys haven't, if you guys haven't seen it, check out my review of the Aura RDA by DJLSB Vapes and Digi Vapor. Yes. And I haven't gotten nearly. As, I haven't gotten nearly as much traffic on that as I thought I was going to. I get that update on the condor. They updated where the airflow comes in through the 510, through the bottom airflow. And uh, it's working. It's been almost close to a week. I've been using it. And <laughs> no leakage this time. So nice. what nice. I mentioned to them to fix worked. And uh, yeah, I'll be getting a review on that probably this weekend. It's going to take some down down close view so i'll be closey time yeah i've been distracted been sitting here building my girl her first stripper oh shit well, that's your fault meter's been showing his tits the whole time i mean i, I can still see <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna do a little shimmy for you get it wires shimmy shimmy hey shimmy shimmy yo uh. Right. Kimmy, Kimmy, yo, Kimmy, uh, Kimmy, yo. Yeah, she, uh, yeah. She wanted to start dripping, so I built her up a dripper. Nice. Go. Call moving her up in the world. We little dropped, by little. We dropped that donut today. That popcorn. The donut in. No, the donut. No, no, that's popcorn. We can see it. He's going to find donuts. <laughs> I was, I was waiting for I was gonna, that's what I was waiting for the shell. background Fine. to change it like a donut factory or something. All right, Peter. Cream shell. I'm going I'm going creepier than Gizzard. Uh-oh. <laughs> that seemed very Max Hedron. Like, I kind of waited for, like, pink and green pastel lines to flash across <laughs> the screen and him to start repeating himself. <laughs> <laughs> and then a Pepsi a commercial to, like, roll over. <laughs> Life, oh, the I first time Lifer did that to me, the life, the first time Lifer did that to me, I was like, "Okay, I don't know what I did, but <laughs> kind of almost expect take on me to start playing in the background." I know that's that's <laughs> why I'm getting out of that camera. So let's see what else we got going on in here. Who wants to come on tonight? Oh snap! Holy cow. Let's see who's what, out there. What are we? What are we in here right now? We're, we're about a half an hour in. I don't know what the count is, but. Who wants to come on? I, I, I'm just going to paste it out on Facebook. Anybody on my walk can come. He says, are you going to paste it on Facebook? Ooh. That's a whole new level of, oh my God. That's, we're asking, we'll just, that's asking for a lot of trouble. I was say, we that's can kind just of a paste it move. into the vape team. Surely there'll be no trouble there. the troublemakers. Do not post it into the vape team. <laughs> you might as well post it on Pornhub. Yep. <laughs> Vaping Fagan's Vape Lounge? Sure. Nothing, nothing bad will happen if you post it in there. Yeah. Let's see where that one goes. Oh. And I'm banned. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I feel itchy just talking about that. New channel oh, next Kelly. week. Uh, I can answer that question, Kelly. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Your answer is <laughs> no. You want a, You want a hundred milliliters total. So it's seven. It's seventy. Seventy mils. All of all of Swipe's concentrates are pre, are pre diluted down to so they uh, they make a hundred. Yeah. Yep. Easy peasy that way. As I was gonna say, there's Easy no peasy. yeah, there's no math involved that way. It's super fucking simple. 
that is one thing I do love about it, the way he does his concentrates. You yeah. know, you don't even have to fucking look for it. You just know. They're just bam, hundred, bam, hundred, bam, hundred all together, and you're good. Yep. Yeah, it's his. His are his are probably the easiest concentrates going. I think you'll once again. I think I think you'll see a lot of people heading that direction. Just oh. this makes one hundred mils, or this makes one twenty, or this makes one fifty, yeah. and then every every single one of their concentrates will be lined that way. I mean, it's it's the natural progression to bringing more people to DIY realistically because that's yeah. one of the things I know personally was one of the most intimidating factors when you first want to make that step from buying everything to you know taking the journey into the diy realm is percentages seem intimidating when you're talking about multiple factors and you have to keep re-zeroing and there's a lot of room for fuckery so the fact that people like swagger are taking that initiative and making it <coughs> literally foolproof you take it you add it to what it says to add and you're done that's really yep. going to help that transition for a lot of folks i think yep and it really i was into go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead I was saying I was intimidated by the thought at first till Ray and Dawn and Fresh and everybody talked to me about it. And it's like, then the more I thought about it, it's like, yeah, you know, I'm it's not mixing sick. anything explosive here or volatile. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, but, I, can, I but, think I'll be all right. The worst I made my, I made my yeah. name doing DIY and I'm, I'm half-assed and everything. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, Paul, this is how I, I look at it. Everybody's taking one of those crystal light little things dumped it in a bottle of water and shaked it up until it's all clear. Exactly. And so if you buy pre-nicked BG and you buy a bottle of concentrate and you have the amount measured out in your bottle, dump that concentrate in and shake it up like that crystal light. Bam, Bob Set it, it to the side for three out. days and you'll be good. Same I've principle, got, exactly. I've got the concentrates handled. I got to order my pre-nicked VG on Friday. And then we should have everything together next week, and we'll set it up. Well, that reminds cool. me. I need to order another gallon of EG because I'm getting low. Go figure. I'm trying to get, uh, if you guys know, ready to mosh. Yeah. He's doing the same stuff. So hopefully we can get both of you in there, and like it'll be myself and Roro and you two in there at the same show, and we'll teach two newbies at the same time. Hell yeah. Gian, I know if I can mass nichrome plus stainless plus nichrome 90 <laughs> times diameter, blah, 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 fucking blah, and I can mass Ohm's law out in my head, I know I can I know I can do it. It's just more, I was really intimidated, but the last time I even got close to 100, Nick, and then it was brought to my attention, I could just buy the shit already in it. That's what I was going to yeah. say, and the fact that you can <laughs> buy it pre-nicked in volume now, takes yeah. that factor away because when i first started that was the way as well you had to buy your own 100 milligram nick and you had to buy your vg and your pg and then all that math started to give you the oh shit factors and then you had to have your gloves and your yeah. fucking face mask and your iso lab and your ceiling fan going and like <laughs> face mask yeah yeah and exactly <laughs> and your deadpool mask had to be crooked just a little bit but not all the way so it was cartoonish <laughs> like <laughs> now now there's another another way too is if you do want to save yourself a little bit of money there, you can buy just a 120 mil bottle of the 100 milligram Nick and a whole gallon of EG. And there should be enough room where they lead for volume to pour that 120 mil in. And you can shake that whole thing up and it's a little bit under three milligram strength for the entire gallon. But you got to really shake it up. You should probably put it in a nice warm bath so it gets a little less viscous and get it really shaken up and you gotta shake it up every time you go to use it oh, and so. or by the time it gets to me via whatever parcel service i use it's already <laughs> very thoroughly mixed and i just need to get it yep. to room temperature true true that i mean we all know the, the postal service especially is really good at mixing mixing things and Tossing them around. I I got a package today that looked like they assumed that it was the e liquid that needed to be shaken thoroughly because the whole corner was fucking mashed in. I'm like, well, it's a good thing people use bubble wrap still. Oh, uh, and, and this, this time of year, your your all your liquids are heat treated because they right sit, everything like should be hot, thoroughly most, mixed. <laughs> the nicotine already have that nice yellow color in there. All yeah, right, that good peppery bite to it. That works. Get a peppery bite. That's some shitty nick. 
Not if you're making a potato vape. Yeah. Ooh. Or roast beef. Fair enough. Well, I already know the first the first two of the mix I'm going to be doing. So Blank and blank, huh? Yeah. Um, it's like that to show you how much I like them. It's kind of obvious it's lemon ecstasy and peach. <laughs> Which I had peach on this today, and then I just put some, not peach, lemon ecstasy. Then I put some peach on it, and I was like, yep, yeah, that'll do. That'll do, Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, really? Really? That's awesome, Trey. Nobody is going to pop in tonight? Nice. All right, I see how it is. It's cool. It's cool. I got y'all. Y'all sitting in the I'm back. Over, keyboard warrior. I'm over, a year on that, I'm over a year on that same path, Train. I'm over a year on Zero Nick, thanks to DIY. Yep. Donson Trades got me started. Donson <laughs> Trades walked me right into the door on DIY, and then it was all downhill from there. Once you get comfortable with Donson Trades. Yeah. See, I don't know that I can do zero because I've never found a zero, at least on juices I already have, because I've never found a zero that tastes like a three, but I found a whole lot of one and a halves. Yeah. yeah. One and a half is one and a half is a good place to go. Um, I vape Nick every once in a while when I'm having a, a shitty day or something. Most of the time I just kick the zero, just rock it. That's my thing is nicotine's a flavoring and I'm very used to it at this point. So I don't yeah. know that I could go below. I tried zero for a minute and it just made me angry. Well, but most people think the same thing when they first start, when they're first coming off smoking too. They're like, well, this vapor thing doesn't taste right. I'm used to a Marlboro. True. And True. then once that sense of taste starts to adapt a little bit. I, I, that's, that's where I did. I went and I still do some threes, but most everything I do now is one and a half. And I have some zero laying around, not much, but most everything's one and a half. It's yeah. not that I really need Nick. It's just I enjoy that little tinge of changing of the flavor it does from a zero to a one and a half. And it's not a huge yeah. difference, but you can tell. I mean, I mean yeah. don't get me wrong. There's days where I'll pick up the zero, and I don't even notice that it that it was whether it was supposed to be Nick or not. It may have been I just grabbed the wrong fucking bottle, and I don't well, really notice. Less- Last time I tried zeros in, 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 in the nicotine's defense, the zero was a fruit. And in fruit, I notice nicotine a lot more than I do in like a dessert vape. Yeah. Exactly. I yeah, nicotine likes that. to hide in a custard or a, a pastry. Yeah. What the hell are you doing in the comments, Stu? He's, he's in jail. Oh, he's in jail? Yeah. Wes, you're still at 12? There's nothing saying. wrong with that. You're not smoking, man. Yeah. Right? I don't. The way yeah. I see it, it doesn't matter what Nick level you're at, as long as you're maintaining a Nick level without a cigarette. Exactly. That's yeah. the way I look at it. If you're at a 24, and you're rocking a 24, and you're mouth along, and you're just kicking along, but you haven't had a cigarette, you're doing yeah. it right, man. So you do you. Exactly. Oh, Giz is in jail. What did he do to wind up in jail this time? I don't know. Oh, he he, he was up till 3 o'clock in the morning working on his rap song. That's what it was. <laughs> Boats and hoes. Like, like, exactly. Like his wife His wife kept waking up to... <laughs> <laughs> the Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria. Uh, I could see Giz hey. trying to warm up. Like he's got the Bloodhound Gang trying to keep up with him. The bro bro gang, gang better known as Duff and Hoback. That's some epic shit right there. <laughs> oh, why Took you a second. I it. just see a terrible music video of with Giz all of a sudden. I mean, oh, yeah. I don't know if it's necessarily does, terrible. I hope, does, I hope he does a music video to that. Uh, and, I, really and, I mean, do. It, if he does, if he doesn't do it, I'm gonna think of, I'm gonna think of one to do. And when I say a terrible music video, I mean like a. Uh, like a bad B horror flick, it's so bad it's good type thing. That I still of... watch a B and C movie just because of how awesomely bad they are. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, the, the, yeah, why not? Yeah, it's 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 the same entertainment value as the the top of the line shit. Really, fuck... you just have to take it for what it is. Yeah, favorite zombie like... B flick: zombie strippers. Fucking horrid movie. 
so bad it was oh, good. entertaining as shit though. It's oh, like what? lesbian vampire hunters. It's right there. Mm. See, that sounds like that. That movie sounds like it'd be a terrific time. It's <laughs> not near as vulgar as you would expect, and terrible mm. cheesy British comedy. Well, I mean, that's worth seeing anyhow. Then, right? If you can't, if you don't like Simon Pegg and you know modern British comedy, you can't be my friend. Yeah. Hot Hot Fuzz set a good bar. Oh, dude, they've been yeah. around so much longer than that, though. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, as far as like making their entrance known, like making their presence known, bringing that type of comedy that him and Nick Frost do to such a public spotlight. That was a great fucking movie. <laughs> I have one of the memes that, or the GIF files from that movie on cue anytime I'm playing online with friends, like local friends. It's him on the bus loading the shotgun. It's a shame, really. It's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice yeah. horse. <laughs> now, the bad movie like that that I really thought was funny, I think it's called Eye Zombie, where you, you think for like a quarter of the movie – it's like the zombie movie where the guy's running away from stuff, and then you figure out he's a zombie, and everybody else that's running away from him is is not infected yet. Have you seen the one that's like the teenagers that get infected and don't know it until the end of the movie? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's all like goes black and white, and all like oh. And then there's the part where the 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 love interests hook up. And then the lady's complaining, like, it fell off. I don't know what happened. It fell off. <laughs> it reminds me of um, Clerks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Clerks. I can, I, it's, that's still just such a fantastic movie to sit yeah. down and watch. Just oh, for yeah. the dialogue. But I mean, almost no. all the, almost all the, v, the VSQ movies are like that. Just kind of sit back and wait for it. What are they gonna? What, what's gonna be this this bizarre conversation that's gonna make way too much sense in a minute? Where is it? <laughs> right. Yeah. and Bob doesn't speak much, but when he does, you listen. Yeah. Exactly. Damn true. <laughs> what? Not all girlfriends bring you lasagna. <laughs> I could. I could have been thirty six. <laughs> hey, mine brought me pasta to lunch today at the vape shop. I mean, there you go. There you go. And Pocky, too, because I'm a nerd. Hey, that's, that's a whole separate thing, though. That's that's extra points. Yeah, like we went and bought some uh, Longanisa from a local Asian mart, and they had like a whole wall of Pocky from all the different countries. And I was like, okay, this one, this one, this one, this one. And at two dollars a box, it's it's so easy to eat. Yeah, it's easy to hurt your wallet with that shit when they've got a lot of it in stock and you can see that it's there. You're like, ah, oh, but it might not be here when I get back. Uh, I should take it home, just keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and I sit here the other night watching Glow and ate a whole box of the green tea match to Pocky. That's the best. That's the oh, best. Shit. It's the oh. it's the oh man, it's like the godfather of cab drivers. Oh shit. <laughs> it is. Oh shit. <laughs> you can't you, 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 you What's up, Socrates? How you doing, brother? You come to me on the night of my daughter's medallion. <laughs> <laughs> You're breaking my heart, Fredo. Way too far. That's <laughs> 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 too far, man. I miss the party. Side. Friday is it? You guys going to that meet? No, no. We got a we got a meet it. We got a meet of our own. The fog. We got, we got atomizer. We got atomizers and mods. Meet the fire. <laughs> meet it, right? What's that? The sun started to pop. Sun's starting to come up on you? Yep, shit. There you go. Yeah. Shoot, it's about time for you to go to bed, Socrates. What are you doing up? <laughs> I'm on furlough. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I know how that one goes. Like, thanks, government. 
Slow, slow. Yeah, we're not going to the meet in Miami. We're going to Houston next month. I'm not mad about that either because Miami's got like five mod makers counting hardware and a couple distributors. It's mostly Jews. And Houston's like 40% mods and hardware, and the majority of that's nice shit. Then, then Miami, I mean, Houston's nothing to, Houston's going to be hot as balls, but Miami's, Miami's a fucking oven. <laughs> Miami's a humid oven at that. Yeah. Yeah. Houston ain't no slacker on that department either, meter. No, no, it's not, but it, it ain't no, no Miami either, though. Yeah. Miami's, Miami's its own little monster. Miami's got the kind of trouble I don't need, so I'm glad I'm not going. Man, that light's coming up on you mm-hmm. quick, Socrates. Yeah. It is. Holy shit. I'm going to see you in like five minutes. <laughs> Jesus. It's going to be full light. <laughs> so you get an idea of what I go through every time I hang out to watch you guys the extra two, three hours. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, great. Now the sun's up. I can't go to sleep. Right. Yeah, I got stuff to do up here on the roof. I'm working on something. Oh, you got to wait for the sun to come up so you can see what you're doing. So you got time. Yeah. Well, I got downtime from work now. It's time to do things. Choice. Yeah. <sighs> Never a break, is there? I see Niji well, in the work. comments. What? This is Niji out there. What's up, Niji? Niji, my vape goddess. <laughs> We're gonna, yeah, we'll have to do. Uh, we'll have to do. Uh, I think we'll have to do the fire, the the fire, the fire thing in the early half of the show. That way, Addie Tuni's wife can make him go to bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about that earlier. I was thinking. I, that's what I was thinking about. I was like, "We're gonna have to do it earlier in the show." <laughs> so that we can. No, can need I you... bring my? Can I bring my creme brulee torch? You can bring your creme brulee torch. All right. As long as you got something, as long as you got got an atomizer, you can put it up against. Can I burn up some marshmallows? We're gonna have a. We're gonna have a. Sure. We'll have a triple. We'll have a triple torching going on. Niji, why you don't hide in a box, Niji? <laughs> <laughs> That's not good for kids. We don't know if you're alive or not. And uh, d- well, did you see? I I did post a picture <laughs> on the Fresh Bee book. Yeah, I'm but when she comes out of the here. box, I, I saw that Fresh. I was laughing so hard the first time I saw that. <laughs> now we just need somebody whose name is Schrodinger in here, and we're good. <laughs> I don't oh. think anybody with that name ever since then has kept it. Schrodinger? No. <laughs> like, dude, you got a cat, huh? <laughs> that dude did some seriously screwed up shit. <laughs> I love how the sun keeps coming up and where you get to see more of Socrates' face. Yeah, more I've, more never, Socrates. I've never seen Socrates, so this will be interesting. It's like a fucking... Yeah, hi, guys. <laughs> it's like an... In- <laughs> <laughs> Socrates, a handsome son of a gun. There he is. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know what just happened. I unplugged my uh, uh, laptop and it got brighter. Meanwhile, I have it on setting on low. This yeah. works out good. There you go. So this is like a reverse fucking movie. <laughs> Sun's coming up go, instead guess. of going down. Showing us, the, showing us the scenery. You got a hell of a view up there, man. Yeah. God damn, that is beautiful. <laughs> It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap, yeah. That's how they get you. That's exactly Me, that's how that that's how I got suckered into my place. It's like I can live on a lake. Okay. <laughs> Technically. Niji, we know you're in the box. Every now and then the cloud comes out of it. Move along. Nothing to see here, Paul Zilla. <laughs> she, she's stealth vaping. Yeah, that's right. She's stealth vaping again. No, I think that's. I think that's going to be a lot of. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Just the the dual tor- the dual or triple torchy time, whatever we wind up with. What are you testing the Angora? Hmm? 
What are y'all testing that Angora rabbit shit? I mean, if Niji has some, we could totally ever get some. There you go. <laughs> the bin is for vaping. The box is for hiding. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love it. Oh, that's, that's, that's how Niji gets around her yard. She j jumps into the bin. That's a couple holes. It's got some wheels on it. It's, it's like Metal Gear wood. Solid. It's just a box. Nothing to see here. What this, you got is what I'm, this is what I'm coming to the game with. There you go. <laughs> nice, Nice. This is a little beauty. I like heating up my stainless steel with this. Yeah. Just the before I wrap the coils, I give, it, I give it a little bit, you know? The best way to do stainless steel, at least to us old schoolers. I don't know if I have to do it, but I like doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Any well, excuse to play with fire. When we first got stainless steel wire and readily available, like as wire, I was like, wait, I don't have to torch this? <laughs> what? Son of a bitch. Yeah, this, I, I started getting this ready coil, uh, real fine gauge, uh, a fused Jorgonaut. Uh, 2838 it's fine you know and it it has a spring in it and I heat it up and it kind of hold it holds it back a little bit when I wrap it. just a little gotcha. bit not a big difference but I think there's a difference because you end up getting like a, a 2.5 that's a what do they call those gold flies the beetles that uh, people tie off no there's a bumblebee <laughs> Wait, he's coming in to you see it? You see it? <laughs> Wanted to come hang out. Niji, I'm not sure that Niji, I'm not sure that's hiding. I've checked your I've checked your webcam. I'm pretty sure that's not hiding. <laughs> uh no, I haven't. Speaking of torching. There's some guys uh, hanging out in the shack that are uh, that are messing around with the wire mesh again, to uh, with the RDTAs. Like uh, you can over there got the RDTA box, and he and he put his wire mesh wicks in, and he says it's working glorious. Oh, you can wake modern RTAs with mesh real easy. I I would still yeah. do a cotton core, but. Yeah, dude, I've seen people do the um, like the little RDTA, like the Limitless Gold and iJoy combo, mm -hmm. and they'll do cotton just to the holes, and they'll have mesh that drapes all the way to the bottom of it, so it'll ch chase up it, and it's actually pretty nice. I don't feel like torching mesh anymore. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw my light, my old my old torch around here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. There you go. So I can I can torch something too. No, no, I'm gonna <laughs> let the masters work. <laughs> I got a whole butane uh, can for this thing. I'm pretty sure I got one around ready here somewhere for, too for the Friday show. <laughs> ready, just ready to. Socrates is ready to play along. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got a support. I, I like to turn that one because it's thin gauge the, the support. Yeah, so yeah. this year this lighter isn't a cheapie, it's a it's a good one. There's good dullering in there, you know, it doesn't melt. So I could I could hold it on for a long time, nothing happens to it. Nice. So it probably work for the support. I think it bro I could probably do the trick. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They're doing the torching Addies thing. Yeah. yeah. But first, I got to see the the masters at work. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are big shoes to fill. I think I'd want to go before them if I was you. I don't um, want to follow. I don't want to follow that act, man. I'm, I'm not thinking. What they can do. I'm not thinking to hit the whole thing. I just, I'm just gonna do a few spots on it. There you go. <laughs> I'm, yeah. It's probably possible. Mm -hmm. Do like a target thing coming out the sides, not on the graphics, on the other sides. 
just nice. hit it in one spot and have it uh, zero out. Perfect. Yeah. Addy needs to tell me this, though. <laughs> <laughs> Addy, tell me how to do this. I, tell I me haven't, how to do it, Addy Tooney. I haven't tried to torch any, like, vape hardware because – I'm used to the oil field torching to where I'm, you know, taking a six foot rosebud to like one inch steel and the tracks on a, you know, crane or something to try to break it loose. I'm, yeah, I, I like to hold heat in places for too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, safety first. Safety's relative. Oh, yeah. But you got to have some sort of glove on to hold the tool that's going to hold the Addy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Huh. A dipping Addy Tooney usually, Addy Tooney just, he usually just gets a pair of like old pliers. That's what I was going to say. He's it out the side of it and he just goes like this. Yeah. He's got a yeah. down pack. Yeah. Same thing with Niji. She was just, she was just kind of going like. <laughs> I think Niji just breathes on it. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I well, need you out there giving you tips already. There right. you go, yeah. Make sure you use high quality purified butane. If you use the low grade shit that comes in lighters, it's just gonna leave black carbon all over everything. There you go. The more you know. Fucking reading rainbow <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite moments in the animations when SpongeBob started doing the reading rainbow thing. I <laughs> uh, got this butane, E.G. Uh, Ronson. It, uh, it's made in England, so it has to be uh, uh, filtered. I don't think I'm going to have a problem with it. Ronson you won't know till you try. Ronson's pretty low grade. Huh? Uh. This is made in England. White can, red label, like red writing. No, it's a yellow red one. It's still, it's it's not, com it's commercial grade, not industrial grade. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Like find a um, like a metal supply or industrial supply place, and they can give you a little canister or even sell you a small torch for it's like twenty or thirty dollars that uses purified butane. Yeah. It yeah, burns you want like a, like a Newport clean. or a Calibri or. Something yeah. along, or a vector, or something along those lines. And I like to I'm see that happen in Greece. <laughs> Niji says she has a chef rant, so she can't tell you for sure. No, even if she tells, even if she tells me a brand, I ain't gonna get it here in Greece. I'm gonna go <laughs> by the supply stores over here and see what they have. Yeah, I, I guarantee you that you have at least some kind of like welding or fabrication supply store. Any place that sells like welding uh, or maybe um, electronics, they have those yeah. uh, welders, the small ones for soldering, right? The ones that work with the gas, maybe they have that pipe. Maybe. I'll go they check use, it out. Yeah, I'll that should be that should be high quality enough for it. Realistically, yeah. realistically, you want to know the best place to go find high high price, not necessarily high price, but high quality filtered butane. Go find a head shop. Mm hmm. No joke. Go find a head There's shop. You'll get the best in fucking Greece. butane in the market. <laughs> no head shop. Like you're just like, I'm in, Gr I'm in Greece. Fuck you guys. <laughs> no, yeah, forget it. Uh, like, I, I know I sound like I'm from New York, but I live in Greece, guys. <laughs> it's illegal to own a scale. Uh, the ones that you guys use for DIYing, it's actually legal to have one. If, God forbid, something happens, and say I have it in my cat. Because you know how I am crazy all the time. I'm doing things in the taxi, and tripping, <laughs> dripping, dripping, right? Yeah. And they, see, they see me with something like that. I, they're going to take me in. Like, why don't you, why you come on in and house. explain the scale? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not. It's just not legal. Nice. Yeah, explain, <laughs> explain, the, explain the crack cocaine liquid you were mixing. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the bath salts all those crazy Americans have been doing? Exactly. <laughs> Are you trying to get our children to eat each other's faces, Mr. Socrates, the cab driver? <laughs> what? The only salts I've been thinking about lately is about uh, ma masticha. It's a natural uh, tree sap that comes out of a tree. 
and it's a gum hmm. and it's in rock form so i was thinking maybe they have it in uh flake form to see what it does if i add just a bit of it crush it uh, crush it up powder style just like uh, it, it is they it comes in that form they already pre-crush it because they use it for cooking and this and that hmm. Hmm. uh what's that ethyl ethyl maltol yeah it comes in that form the powder yeah yeah you should be able to just dilute that down into pg if you if just you were because i don't know what the oils in it is <laughs> yeah yeah if there's oils in it yeah we can't have True, that yeah you don't want to go crazy on that no, but just to see how it is to actually vape something. Because the last time I had a, a natural vape was the uh, TPA had a watermelon uh, like two years back. And it was like totally. Uh, oh, totally the, orga the organic flavor? Organic, yes. And they said, the, the shop said they stopped it because of the oils in it. Hmm. Made sense, I mean. Yeah. I mean, they still said they still have their their organic line. Um, do they have that? I'm gonna look at it and see if they've still got the organic. I'm saying not. that they stopped bringing it to Greece and they started bringing the other watermelons. That was the best watermelon. I used to like that one. World of Flavors, Perfumer's Apprentice. Man, Socrates got everybody out there talking about fucking their damn <laughs> accents out there. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> up and they're going to talk about your accents instead of what we were fucking talking well, about. Uh, it's an accent. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I grew up in it's New not... York. I was, I was born on the island. The hospital that made me closed. They broke the mold after they made me. All right, get it? <laughs> <laughs> Some French hospital on, on the island. Oh yeah, no. I, I all these are all these you cannot ship overseas because they're flammable. Yeah. Well, you can if you dunk it. There, there was a reason they stopped bringing them. It's a shame. Tom, put it on the boat. We're good. Next time I visit the States, I'll bring some over. There you go. <laughs> like a there gallon. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze it. <laughs> what, what is this in your suitcase, Mr. Socrates? Or is this the bath salts? It's Did we get you this time? <laughs> but that, that is the thing, though. He, he does have a point there. If you freeze your liquid, you can carry it on. I know a lady that flies all the time, and she freezes her water bottles so that they go through TSA so she doesn't have to buy a bottle of water on the other side of TSA because just, when it goes through, it's a solid. I just bring one of these empty, and I fill, yeah. it, up at the, I fill it up at the bottle fillers now because all, <laughs> the, all, the, all the airports have the bottle fillers now. Yeah. Right. Really? Yeah. Oh, SR yeah, is trying to start a fight. Oh, I just read that. Too. Oh, SR is no trying to start shit. a fight. I'm not even going to read that. <laughs> oh, good oh, luck, Socrates. Do you, have this, to... do you have the chat up, Socrates? <laughs> I'm not even following it. Oh man, Bontrager <laughs> Bontrager is trying to start a ro uh, st trying to I'm start trying to, start but I'm not picking you. up on it. <laughs> Make him lick the spoon. Make him lick the spoon. That's right. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, you come in here days. when I'm on a show disrespecting me and my family. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Jesus Christ! Oh man, Bontrager. Bon there you go, Bontrager. With words like that, Bontrager, he'll be, he'll be, yes. Bontrager will be sitting there waiting for Socrates to get off the plane. He's just like, that's how you meet a guy. <laughs> See, we, we know SR is parked for the night sitting in his, his <laughs> semi, right. just eating like whatever he just picked up and he's watching the show and he's like, yeah. So let's fuck come with on somebody. in. Yeah, let me call. Let me call Socrates an Uber driver and see what happens. 
Ah, you know the DIY box mods I make. I could make them blow up if I want. <laughs> Allegedly, yeah, I heard you're, Allegedly. I heard you're in the market for a new mod, huh? That's all right. <laughs> you sure you want one from me? <laughs> Send me your address. I got you. <laughs> oh, can can you be can you be? Hold on a second. Let me get something for you. <laughs> all, right, all right, there. And there can be. Let me. They've been out there talking zippos. They've been out there talking zippos like they're serious collectors, but not one of them has mentioned Ted Ray's yet. So they don't know much. (laughs) All I see is Kenny B talking shit again. It is a bunch of shit talkers out there tonight. Fucking Jesus! (laughs) There you go, Rebel. Rebel's got my Rebel's got my back. (laughs) They need. uh, We need. There's a lot of spoons that need to be leaked out there. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Bunch of goddamn oxygen thieves. <laughs> Fat chicks is talking about the damn bath salts still. If we really want to know, I'm all about get in where you. Fit. I never really had a desire to do that. Yeah, me either. Face never sounded that delicious. Yeah. The big thing up here was uh, what was it? The the uh, the salvia. The sativa. Salvia. Salvia. Yeah, salvia. That was a big thing up here for a minute. See, we still got the K2 going around here in Missouri. Fucking well, ridiculous. Like, literally every week, there's at least five, six different shops getting shut down for openly selling, like, windows full of fucking K2 and spice and shit. I'm like, it's 2017, people. <laughs> Read a fucking book. That shit is, like, literally potpourri with fucking Windex on it. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. <sighs> Thanks, Redneck. Me, Redneck's all right with me. Redneck's all right with me. <laughs> Hashtag shit talkers. Uh, what kind of fun shit are they going to get into next? Jesus. Yeah, what are you? I just yeah, wanna... So how's everybody's team looking this year? There, that should be the over-under bet. How many games until Mitchell Trubisky is starting for the Bears? How long before my, they give up on Mike Glennon? <laughs> I'm giving it two more preseason games. <laughs> two? Yeah. I, I, I don't, don't even ever, think he makes it that far. <laughs> I don't ever come into the football season expecting a good one. I've been a Buccaneers fan my whole life. Oh, Jesus. You guys are at, you guys are looking sweet this year. Uh, it just like It'll be just like last year. We'll have a good lineup. We'll get... Get a couple good W's under the belt. Lose to some bullshit team. As long as we beat the Cowboys, I don't care. There you go. <laughs> You're a I, that's a good player. philosophy to have. <laughs> we'll, quote, we'll quote that movie again. We suck again. <laughs> we suck again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Horse pain meds? Uh, that doesn't surprise me at all that that's what the folks in Montana are doing. Did my little sister come looking for some? Ketamine? <laughs> Ketamine's not as fun as you guys think it is. Just trust me on that. Oh, there was, a guy, there, was a, there was a guy. There was a guy telling me about how good a time he was having on ketamine the other day at the bus stop. <laughs> I was prescribed ketamine to go to, for sleeping pills because normal sleeping pills made me hyper, and it's how you find out what a coma looks like and still be able to wake up. Yeah, <laughs> it is not worth that hangover. It's it's worse than a you know four loco hangover or a. Mad Dog 2020 hangover. Ain't no party like Four Loco Party because a Four Loco Party usually ends in jail. (laughs) (laughs) I saw a really good picture. They make Four Loco in the little pony kegs now. Yeah. And and it's like, Four Loco, now in keg form. They make it in champagne bottles, too. They make it in champagne bottles now, too. Instead of the giant tall boy cans, they put them in fucking bottles so they can get classy with their four loco fucking hangovers at 17 now. I'm like, oh, no. (laughs) Whatever happened to just getting H&H or something? It's 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 this generation's version of MD 2020. That's all it is. No, I get it, but it's I mean, MD 2020 is still out. So is Boone's Farm. It's still out there. 
What's wrong with Boone's Farm? <laughs> the the nice. thing is, the new generation doesn't get it, but they get four loco. Right. Fuck? Boone's Farm isn't crazy enough for the kids these days. <laughs> it doesn't it comes say a lot of cans, so we orange? can't really see it. That Mad Dog 2020 orange. Get you tore down real fast. Mix it with yeah. a Sprite. Yeah, or if you got two bucks, go get some Night Train. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> if I just need I'd, to rather, get... I'd rather I'd rather go scrape together like seventy five more cents and get like one of the big bottles of, the, of like the the high gravity booze. Yeah, right? I was gonna say if I need to beer. get that that tour up, I'll, I'll just go buy a forty. Yeah, King Cobra. Oh, it's all right. about that uh, Mickey's. Get the yeah, damn right. <laughs> the Mickey's. They, they don't sell. They, they they refuse to sell Mickey's and forties around here. Just get, oh, they they got the wide mouth um, sixteen ounces though. Yeah, the yeah. grenade, the tall grenades. Yeah. yeah, they sell them in the little. Pony I, get, I never there. saw the draw to Mickey's. Like it's such a skunky ass fucking brew. You drank it too slow then. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like Heineken malt liquor. Yeah, <laughs> it's great after the seventh one. <laughs> the I just gotta get past that pesky <laughs> first six it. pack, yeah, just, and you're yeah, good, man. You're cool. fucking having a great time. It's like PBR for an extra nickel. <laughs> oh, I, I drank my share of PBR. I mean, there was always... When I was down in Georgia, I couldn't believe how cheap it was. Oh, dude. Here, was like, for real? The bar prices here during a concert, you get two PBR tall boys for three bucks. Oh, shit. At the concert. Do yeah. they serve a Twinkie with that? Well, you can, the- get the, you can get the bar special... And it's two tall boy PBRs and a shot of fireball for five bucks. <laughs> Good times. It comes with free regret. Because <laughs> when I go to Florida, the Tiki Bar sells uh, their breakfast special, which is a uh, PBR tall boy and a Twinkie for two fifty. <laughs> you ever seen the PBR um, <laughs> Bloody Mary? No, it's, God no. Uh-huh. PBR mimosas are a big thing around here. Uh-huh. Like. <laughs> They like, add, like you'll see fucking gas. Yeah, you'll see gas stations <laughs> with their fucking tax signs out front. PBR mimosa, buy one get one. The no. fucking tall boy PBR cans with a tall boy fucking orange juice, buy one get one on sale. Advertised at the fucking road. Jesus Christ! The fuck I'm is like, wrong with we're <laughs> yeah, we're scraping the bottom here, folks. <laughs> we're fucking scraping the bottom at that point. Oh. It's like. You you can't give me a PBR. I'm good. Yeah, at this point, I'm when I was stationed in Missouri, they had the dri- they had the drive up liquor shops where you could go and you could actually just order a mixed drink. Yep, as long yeah. as the straw was still closed. Yeah, yep. as long as the straw. I don't even think it was that. They just have to tape the lid. Yeah, and put a piece of scotch tape on it. Yep, as long yeah. as it's technically sealed, your mm-hmm. gravy down. They're yeah. still there. <laughs> There's one not too far from me. Good to know. It's, ex- it's expensive, but yeah, they're still a thing. I mean, it didn't it didn't ever phase me. <laughs> whatever whatever happened to to the old school craftiness? Go, go to Sonic, get a large cu- a Route 44 cup of ice, yeah. or half of it out, and stick you a tall neck in it, and just shake it and put your straw down in the bottle. Yep. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. You gotta be crafty with your shit. Oh man, I'm drinking for loco at my high school during first hour. It's right. like, it's like, bro, you, do you just want to look like a dumbass? Pour you some, you know, pour some Southern Comfort and some Dr Pepper and get fucked up with a little bit of taste. <laughs> right. Take your water bottle, put a little vodka in that bitch. Make second period more fun. No, Crystal Light never clear. You'll never smell the alcohol. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. oh. That feel just sounds like vomit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. oh, why? Yeah, right there, right in the Yeti spot. Yep. <laughs> why? Why ever clear? I thought we had. I thought we had a deal. We had a dude in my high school who would put uh, half, take half a like a green apple Powerade or the green melon Powerade. He put, he drank half and top it off with Everclear, and he'd have a full one at lunch. You never knew he was drinking. Jesus Christ. Till fifth period when he fell down the stairs. I had a better I had a, signal. I lost my signal. 
say I definitely had a I definitely had a couple lunches in in high school where I don't I don't remember English all that well. Right. But I know I was there. You remember going there and then just you were doing something else all of a sudden. And then it, and then it was time to go home. Yeah. Teacher calls roll. It's like present but not all accounted for. Right. Oh wow. Wow. Ozzy over there talking about Strohs. I don't, I don't remember the last person I've heard talk about straws. I had an old neighbor. It's all he used to drink. He'd buy it by the... Because they sell them in big fucking 30 packs here. Yeah. Fucking like 8, 10 bucks. 30 cans of beer. Uh, Couldn't beat that. Don't we miss from straws? Alex oh, and the dog straws. Right. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, right before I quit drinking, I was buying 30 packs of uh, uh, Keystone Ice. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh. No, don't touch that's, my stones. That's right. Don't touch my stones. Keystone. Now they, I did just watch a video where they compared the carbs to how much it fucks you up for like, <coughs> you to stay within your grams of carbs for keto. And they said to go with Steel Reserve. The high gravity? Yeah, that that'll definitely do the trick. I would I would I would ask for a second opinion. <laughs> after you left, there was a guy that uh, after you left Polk, there was a guy down there that all he would drink was that Steel Reserve eighteen eleven or whatever the fuck it was. Two eleven. Yeah, Two yeah 11. the high gravity. Yeah, just... yeah, that's it. <laughs> that dude was a, that dude was looking to get drunk in a hurry. Is what that dude they, was. They can't keep forty ounce or the thirty two ounce cans of that shit on shelves around here. No, that's, they, that's they can't the, the workman's drink of choice at seven a.m. That's breakfast. Breakfast yeah. champions. God, fuck. They ain't a roofer or carpenter out. That's out, what I was gonna say. All the, the roofers. Yeah. Electricians. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and the local, forget about it. My partner was Polish, yeah. and great guy, great guy. But he started off his morning with fruit punch. <laughs> On Rikers Island. Oh, fuck. The sub basement was a bar. Mm. All right? Really? He's a Jamaican guy. He used to bring moonshine from Jamaica and it was green. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I'd be uh, willing to drink green. Green. I, don't even, green. I don't even want to know what the moonshine was earthy. made of. Green. It was an earthy, earthy green moonshine. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only I only drank shine one time, and it was a, it was not a good time. It, 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 it was I'm, old, you know. Oh, they had they and they went and they had to work on Rikers Island. Oh. You have to have all the fellas on the job site, you know. The how are you gonna have the young guys running around not knowing what they're doing? Yeah. But, you know, it was like doing time for no, you know, like it was your free life and it was like doing time. You had to go in with a card. You couldn't go off it anytime you needed to. And it, that site turned ugly in six months time. <laughs> I believe it. Forget I can see it. that. Forget it. Now that earthly moonshine. That sounds like something up Meter's Alley. Contra, bit. man. Absolutely, yeah. man. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, we slowly realize we we all used to be some really, really interesting people. It used to be. <laughs> Different kind of interesting. Yeah, I could tell I could tell you stories. I don't have many stories about what I get up to these days. <laughs> I went on this really sweet bike ride, everybody. There you go. Like oh. I saw a family of raccoons crossing the street on the way home. Doesn't sound near as interesting as well. It started with a couple four locos and a mad dog twenty twenty, and the next thing you know, Jack's <laughs> naked. <It's true. laughs> All right. Because these days I'm generally drinking water or Powerade, but I have a video somewhere of me beer bonging a three story king cobra. So, oof. <laughs> Jesus, man. There, there were wild times. <laughs> that, that's your next content yeah. on your channel. I'm glad I've Some, left those things behind. Somewhere, I still have the video of Joel killing two tall boys 
shotgunning him in the time it took this dude to kill one 12 ounce can. <laughs> Those were interesting days. This was the, the parts December. still click. <laughs> and Joel's coming to heat. <laughs> oh yeah, don't just don't even don't even just don't try. Just <laughs> No, that's that's that old lifestyle got expensive. Yeah. And expensive. we're not allowed to drink <laughs> fireball in Houston, so it's only gonna be so much fun. <laughs> sure she didn't say we couldn't have Jameson. I think there's an unwritten rule somewhere that I'm not allowed to have fireball the rest of my life. You mean your wife told you that? I don't know where that rule's written at all. At all. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not unwritten. Your wife probably wrote it down somewhere for you and made you sign a contract. Yeah, after that wondering. Saturday they're, show, they're, that was enough. <laughs> no, you so know, yeah, at all the, yeah, after at all the different liquor stores and grocery stores, there's just a sticky note that's been that's been <laughs> screwed into the shelf right above the fireball. <laughs> No, Ray. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. He, see, it's a shame because here they just started carrying those two and a half gallon fireball party boxes. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. And they have a tap on each side. So you yes, can totally, they do. Like put it between two people. Uh, what, what, can I ask you guys something? Yeah. Uh, this I, I saw something that seemed a little crazy. Uh, remember the ice bucket? Yeah. Are they I, are they actually trying to get kids to throw freaking boiling water all over themselves? What? No, that was a couple kids that wanted to start a trend and they failed miserably with third degree burns. Yeah, yeah. No, but some girl in got the hospital burned all over the face. I mean, she's yeah. in the hospital, right? Yeah, and they're charging the other two that were involved in it. They, yeah, they're... two fucking twelve yeah, year old was... kids. Yeah, that was, just, that was just that was just stupid kids. That wasn't a real thing. That was just some stupid kids fucking around yeah, and, some and they're fucking each other's followed. life. Yeah. I mean, that's nuts. Uh, what, it, it bogs my mind. Where were the fucking parents during all of that? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Because I, I read the news article on it said they were having a sleepover. Where the fuck yeah. are your parents? What the fuck is wrong with you? And why aren't the parents going to jail for that for not fucking properly paying attention to some twelve year olds? Yeah, that's fucking, neglect. It's neglect, exactly. Child negligence. Yeah. Then again, also there was a. I just read another another article when it comes to shit like that. You're neglecting a child, and you're not going to jail. But how come I watched? There's some eighteen year old kid who's still in high school, fucking choked a guy out. Ended up killing him because he held in the choke too long because he was beating his mother. They arrested the kid and charged him with fucking homicide. I'm going, are you fucking shitting me? He jumped on the guy's back to save his mom and you're going to charge him with homicide? Go fuck right. yourself. Or manslaughter or whatever the fuck it was. I'm like, come, come on now. Still, whatever. Yeah, there's no reason for it. Right. Whatever happened to <clears throat> saving your fucking family, that's way more important than that cocksucker who's beating on him. Fuck yeah. It's like, please break into my house. I got a forty-five caliber bullet with your fucking name on it. I love living in the state with a, a right to defend the castle, castle laws. laws. Oh, it's it's the castle law doesn't even matter here. Your property extends all the way to your foundation, including anything attached to your foundation. Nice. Front porch, back porch, carport, gravel driveway. Nice. Don't matter. To so the fence. Uh, has to touch your foundation, and I, I and I can say without a shadow of a doubt, I know what I know what things look like at five hundred yards. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh shit! I've got a wedge. I've got a wedge with someone's name on it. <laughs> I have two dogs and lots of knives. I want you to get in. <laughs> I just watch the dogs. That'd be fun. That's what I said. I got I've got two crazy dogs and I have lots of fucking knives. I want you to get into the house because then getting back out is going to be fun for me to watch. <laughs> I've got I've got Ivana. It might be fun to let someone in. That's very true. Just throw Ivana at somebody when they like. Just watch for him. <laughs> <laughs> She, it's bad enough. It's bad enough when I pick her up because she does that to me when I pick her up. 
No, it's like what you do is you just lay her there and be like, I dare you to pet her belly. <laughs> Ivana? <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Everybody else. She's sleeping She's sleeping on the couch right now. Uh, you're going nice. Earlier, okay. she, earlier, she, was, she was doing the, the intimidation move that she does now. She goes and sits on the couch where I, where I like to sleep, and she just sits there and stares at me like... <laughs> just to remind you. Yep. You know who's in charge. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I allow exactly you to right. live. <laughs> exactly. Oh, God, what do you want? Have some soft food. I'm getting G. I've got a ducky with a knife. I'm good. <laughs> That's See, he knows. He knows there what it's go. all about. That's right. Hashtag ducky's got a bally song. And Niji's got a torch. I got got a, a cool guy. I, eh? bet you, I bet you Niji's got like a Mag- MacGyver bazooka in her place somewhere. <laughs> Or could build one. Could yeah, have. exactly. She could. She could have one. Part strategically, yes. Seconds. Part strategically placed on the way to the front door. She has at least a potato cannon. At least a potato cannon. <laughs> Guaranteed. I, I wouldn't doubt there's a bowling ball mortar sitting like right underneath the kitchen range or something. <laughs> See, I kind of imagine more of that Home Alone like torch blowtorch by the fucking door on a string. Uh, like just waiting for that Joe Pesci moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and she's sitting there with the army helmet with the cat ears lit up. Yeah, just watching. <laughs> <laughs> just After sitting the trash can bit. <laughs> if I ever go by her house, I ain't never opening that lid up. <laughs> uh, exactly. She she's got the bin inside, and you just I see hate it. to see what she's got in there when she's not in there. <laughs> it's, a, it's all it's all the, it's all dark inside, and you just see the cat ears come on. That's how you know things are about she to go. Probably has it tied off with ropes from uh, right. Yeah, you just see the cat ears light up in a dark room. Get them all to scram. <laughs> Ding. Oh. <laughs> That's when you know shit has hit the fan. You are fucked at that point. <laughs> Hmm. I didn't think I'd ever find a good peanut butter and strawberry jelly sandwich. What's it called? It's called Electric Elephant. The juice line is called Jungle Juice. It's uh, by one of our fellow YouTubers. Uh, Donnie B makes it at his vape shop. It's one of their recipes that he's kind of put his little mitts on. So Interesting. It's, it's spot on. It's a nice salty peanut butter and, and the strawberry is just dangle in there. Like it's thinly spread strawberry. Nice. It's really good. Donnie B taking a vape shop? There. Yeah, Donnie B is working at a vape shop called, uh, what is it? Vapor Crave? Vapor Crave, yeah. yeah. Did you ever have Trevor Jones's uh midnight snack? I did not. I should have yeah, that was that. a real that was a really good peanut butter and strawberry jam. Really good. Uh it's church bells time, guys. <laughs> it's cool. Let me meet uh, they finished. <laughs> Apparently they needed to save us. <laughs> Masses of whatever he can. I think I'm long past that that kind of help. <laughs> well, you're just wild. that could be a problem every once in a while yeah need you, you know perfectly well you've got a bear at 50 cal mounted on your porch for for when the wildlife gets out of hand don't try for and that, anybody need you for that evil orange cat yeah <laughs> just fire just fire just firing like catnip treats at it right Niji, if you ever need some bird bombs for that 37 millimeter launcher, I'm sure you got. Just let me know. I'll work you up some cool shit. <laughs> Hashtag we know a guy who knows a guy. Why do I have a I feeling? live in. Hmm? Oh, go ahead. I said, I live in free the free part of America. I got all kinds of fun shit. I have a feeling, though, Niji has at home. She has an old school flintlock blunderbuss that she's made herself. <laughs> Just throws nails, oh, yeah. shards of glass, and shit in there for whoever comes. Broken atom, yeah, broken atomizers and shit crammed down <laughs> in there. Old coils. 
<laughs> They're still perfectly legal to have too, and you don't need any kind of special licensing for That's them. That's right. Anybody can own a blunderbuss. They're super cheap. Like you can buy a mail order. It's called um, I forget. It's it's some weird name, but it's a double barrel uh ten gauge shotgun pistol. <laughs> it's like ten inch barrels, and but it's a flintlock, so it's technically not a firearm. Oh, that's awesome. One yeah. of those scatter guns or however they, they, t- oh, they yeah, categorize so them. Oh, it's it's oh, it's it's her coil <clears throat> graveyard that she just laces with rock salt. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> they're called howda. They're called howda guns. That's what they're called. That's it. A pirate's gun. <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Those things sketch me out because about the third time you go to reload it, that thing is still hot and that powder is not happy. Right. <laughs> Yeah, they're not a multiple use thing. They're they're definitely a situational game changer, but not for reloading. <laughs> you can clear a small room pretty efficiently. <laughs> Fuck yes. Fuck yes. That's where all the old stripped out Allen head screws are. <laughs> right. Hell yeah, that'd be a good shot. Uh um, like a some bitch what that would yeah. do. Lord knows you couldn't get them out. Fuck no. <laughs> all, the, all those old 20 gauge and 22 gauge wire clippings and. Right, the little nubbins. <laughs> yeah, little sharp pieces. Oh. <laughs> now I want to go Pixar to a picture of Niji with a blunderbuss. <laughs> but she's got to have the helmet on. Yeah, with, with the cat ears. Oh, yeah. She's got the ears, yeah. Like that—that that would be some epic shit. Just ho- holding like a little three-inch blunderbuss. Like, yep. <laughs> Somebody needs to get a hold of Photoshop Steve on Instagram. Photoshop Steve, I'll just bring one down and let her take a picture. <laughs> Dude. I mean, we don't play. If we're gonna have the picture, she's gonna shoot it. There, there you go. Oh, West End wanted to uh, send me a message that said Cowboys. That's when we were talking yeah. about football. That's his team, what? apparently. West End, you know, and I thought we were friends. <laughs> I mean, once again, why do you and Kenny B hate Jesus? I'm just curious, <laughs> West End. <laughs> why do you hate Jesus? <laughs> Some damn Okies, I tell you. But Mama said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. That was creepy. Did you see something go across your background? No, my fucking son's talking in his sleep. <laughs> creepy little fucker. Must, must <laughs> Church, I'm more of a, a 10 millimeter kind of guy because... I want to put a half inch hole through the dinosaur behind the refrigerator at my neighbor's house. <laughs> <laughs> through your fridge. <laughs> now, speaking of that, Paul, did you see the freaking thing that was going past on Facebook where they were making the cardboard like nine millimeter that shot crayons and it had a magazine and everything? What? Yeah, mm-hmm. How the fuck did I miss that? And cardboard, hot glue. And it, it, it was and some super rubber. glue and some other shit in there. You could actually buy Lego kits. They're officially Mega Blocks, though, That's, to make like Barrett 50 cals that actually yeah, fire. Yeah, I was going to say, I've seen the Barrett 50 cal Lego kits. Those are pretty fucking insane. Yeah, there's a wooden Desert Eagle one that's it's all rubber band powered, but you can buy the little wooden bullets. It's, it's actually pretty cool. That's awesome. <laughs> That's pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't spray paint it black. Right? Yeah, like I had this little cocky some bitch that hung out at our shop once. He's like, "Man, I don't know what everybody's talking about. The Desert Eagle don't recall." She had said, "You ever shot one?" He goes, "No, but I think I could." So we took him out. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody thinks it's not as bad until you get one in your hands and you squeeze that fucking trigger and it That'll... shifts your soul backwards eight inches. <laughs> yeah, when you're holding a six pound Mark Nine Desert Eagle in fifty cal. You think real hard about pulling that trigger, which takes about 30 pounds of pressure. Yeah, yeah. I'm a 300-pound man, and it shook my fat ass. You better fucking believe. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not light. 
That was my weapon in the army. The 50 cal. Fuck yeah. Modus. Uh, I was a man, a one man team, you know. I volunteered for six months in Greece. My father did it. My mother, my grandfather did it. I figured I'd do it too. You know? Why it's, not? It's, it's all right. I, I could still be an American citizen and serve in Greece too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they said it's okay. <laughs> there you go. As long as they give you the green light, go as for long, it. Yeah. It's, it's like it's, I don't lose my say, citizenship and I get to play with the cool shit. Fuck yeah. Right, well, that's that's uh, America. That's what America is all about. You yeah, have right. freedom of choice as long as you respect your country and you respect it, you know. But they recognize that you also have ties from where else you are from. And they don't drop you as a citizen and I'll say okay you've gone there in the army and you know you can't come back and you're losing your citizenship that's what makes America well, America that's all I got to say about that hell yeah yeah see I got Dimitri and Alan out there praising 1911s and <laughs> I've got 1911s that's cool <laughs> but I like my shit to work FBFC well, the, just won it. That, he said, I saw it, shot a slingshot once. Not as cool, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, man. The new wrist rockets are pretty ridiculous. Yeah, they really, really are. There's some pretty ridiculous ones coming out nowadays. Dude, they got that new one, the sling bow. They can uh, shoot an arrow at 300 I, feet per I, second. Yeah, I saw one of those the other day when they had a fucking chronograph set up for it, and they, they did a live fucking reading of it. They're like, nah, here, look, no bullshit. So dunk and you fucking look right down, one shot, no cuts. That shit was legit, dude. It was impressive. Then again, we got 50 cal air rifles now. I mean, fuck. Fifty cal air rifles. Oh yeah, Benjamin and uh, Condor make three fifty seven, uh, forty, and fifty cal air rifles. You charge a, a compressed cylinder with nitro, and it'll launch a three fifty seven lead slug at like thirteen hundred feet per second. Wow! They hog hunt with them. It might That's be louder than a real one. You could take big game down with that for sure. Right? Yeah, they they shoot uh, three hundred pound hogs with them. Jesus Christ! That's some old thick skin on those fuckers too. <laughs> I still have my uh, 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 a three hundred eight Browning lever action BLR. Is it called? I old left school. it in the states. I left it in the states with my Kumbara. Uh, I thought I wasn't able to bring it here because it's rifled. And I was mistaken at the time. Uh, Son of you could have rifled, a rifled rifle, but you can't have the scope on top. The scopes are illegal in Greece. You can, so that means like the old lever actions and uh, break action, uh, I think they're called safari rifles over there, still fair game then, right? They have to have uh, the bead sights. Not many people have rifled uh, rifles in Greece. They only have shotguns with uh, slugs. If they go for for a wild boar, is a big game that's legal in Greece. Uh, deer is illegal. Uh, the, 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 the smaller, like the deer, I forget what they're called in English. Uh, the smaller make they have, and they have dots on them. Not, not something like a folk, but fully grown. Uh, mm. Forget what they're called. I know the ones you're talking about. They look, they look like the size of goats. Protected, they're a protected species. That's why we got deer here with antlers. Like, let me back up. You know, <laughs> like fucking, I don't know, meters in, in these dry woods over here, and, and it's amazing. Last time they caught fire on this mountain over here, Barney thing. I saw them coming out the charred woodwork, and I was like, I couldn't believe the size of these things. I was like, look at that. Uh, palm, uh, the antlers, the fixings on the ends. 
uh, full arms, you know, like uh, not like, not pointers. You're not counting pointers. It's like a forest in the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you like. I know some old also country boys that would up. love it. <laughs> Yeah, I missed that rifle. The last time I went to the state a couple of years ago for the wedding of my uh, goddaughter. Uh, my Kumbaro has uh, off the grid piece of land in the house. Took me up there, polished her up. She was clean already. I knew who I left it with, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he takes care of his weapons. He's like you guys. What, what you guys are talking about, it's like what he has and what he talks about all the time. It's where I spent most of my oil field money. <laughs> yeah, it's just hobby too. Holy shit, is it that late already? Or is that early where yep. you're at? Um It is. Holy fuck. I should probably take this thing around the room and wind this thing down. This went in a completely different direction than I was thinking this evening. Alright, fuck <laughs> it. What's new? Huh. My fault. <laughs> oh no, that's fucking normal here. It never goes in the direction I think it's gonna go. We're always in some left field category. Mm -hmm. Thus, fucking, we need to have a Saturday show again. One of these days, we need to get Leafa so drunk he falls out of the chair again. Now mm -hmm. I'm gonna say uh, appreciate you guys for having me on, huh? Get yeah, most definitely. I'm gonna give you your time. I'm gonna let you say whatever the fuck you want. In fact, you know what? Why don't we I'm start gonna go there? off screen, but I'm not leaving. <laughs> right. Oh, thank you. Oh, there it is. Niji the pirate with the blunderbuss. <laughs> <laughs> just, for, just for you, Niji. Oh, later, Socrates. <laughs> oh, you must miss that. He said he was going off camera. Um, anyhow, uh, let's see, who wants to go first? Um, people aren't ready. Everybody's fucking muted. What the fuck? Ray's muted and he's a talking away over there. Oh. We're, we're letting you talk, you know, on your show. Sure. Don't be a fucking liar. You were just muting yourself for some other reason. There you go. I, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Although, I'll give yes. you credit, at least you finally figured out what to do with your hands. <laughs> Adult beverages, cell phone, and vape. You're good. All right. Well, in this case, uh, since you do have your hands full, why don't you go first? Okay. Uh, I guess it's ready. Um, Paulzilla, at Paulzilla X, Instagram, Big Boy Compwire. Um, get some Adori liquid, Omegadon, vaping swag, everybody else. Yeah. I love you it. Just you just Perfect. did it. Everybody. everybody else. Just everybody, uh, everybody else I, these I fuckers talk about, about all the time. You know about all that fuckery. <laughs> if they don't know by now, there's no help. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see. Um, Nifa. How about you? What? Oh, fuck. What? Don't you do it. Hey, Gary. I won't. Sorry. Much better. All right. Um, what yeah, do you got you sleeping me, in the toilet? Babe, you can see me in the toilet. Uh, Friday. Friday show. Uh, come over to Fog Lab at 6.30 Central. An hour and a half before Fresh's show. Uh, that way you can join us with the pre-party before Fresh's Torch Fest. And, uh, yeah, check out uh, videos. I've been dropping one a day all this week. Today has a tasty donut and an awesome, awesome background. So um, check out everybody and stuffs. And, yeah. All right. And, look, meter's back just in time me i am i'm back thank you again tj for having me i appreciate the opportunity to come on here wednesday nights and hang out with this fine group of, of folks here and have these wonderful folks come and, and watch us for some crazy fucking reason 
I would just take a moment and tell everybody to go check out all of the wonderful people that support this community. Go check out SwaggyShane.com. Get your scruffies taken care of. Go take out VapingSwag.com. Get your gear. Get you some of those quenchers. Get your, your taste buds diddled with the Yeti Choir because it's always Black Friday over at Yeti Choir. Go to a door because you will be an adore whore too. Go to omageddonelequids.com. Go to West End Eliquids with an S.com. Check out that group of amazing flavored eliquids. Check out all the folks that support the people that allow us to be us. That's all I would have to say. Well said. Wow. Thanks, Look at that. Just knocking shit out of the park. I think my life's easy. Crush. You're up, battle. Oh, come over to the Friday show, Addy Tooney versus Niji, head to head, head to head. We already know Bl Niji's got a blunderbuss, so what's what's Addy Tooney gonna break out? Like that dude, that dude's gonna roll up in a Sherman tank. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's gonna get scary. That show's gonna be amazing. I have a Sherman tank. <laughs> I got a Sherman tank too. <laughs> <laughs> I no longer have a Sherman tank. <laughs> uh oh. For Yeti's uncle. For Yeti's uncle. I'm, I'm, I think there's still some overhang, Yunkle. I think there's still some. A little bit there. And my mod see through again. It's x ray. So you're giving it away, is what you're saying? Give it away, give it away, give it away now. X ray. No, nobody calls me Ray. It would be X Lipa then. Oh, that's gonna. Oh, we're gonna have to start calling him X Ray if he gets drunk again, because his wife's <laughs> gonna leave him. Oh. Ooh. The oh, drinking man. nickname has been assigned. Oh man, could be worse. He's gonna be. Uh, uh, everybody, be beautiful to each other. Educate, advocate, be good for this community. Uh, go check out my Aura review. Like I said, I didn't get nearly as much traffic as I thought I was going to on it. I think it's a fun review. It's a good review. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yes, go check it out. Um, I'm sure everyone who subscribed to me is subscribed to Fresh and everyone else on the panel. If you're not, go fucking do so. Paul doesn't do the YouTube thing except for to come hang out. So um, go check him out on Instagram. Big Boy Compire LLC. Um, Paul Zillow over there as well. I might do another video eventually. Oh, well, there you go. Um, go sub. And I, I do need to clarify, it is not a competition. It's just going to be awesome having Addy Tooney and Niji on the show at the same time. The only live show that requires you to wear OSHA specs. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Oh, I'm not wearing sunglasses. I want to see all of it, Ray. Oh, okay. I might I might I might throw my I might throw my safety glasses on. Ooh. So my 2030 vision goes goes down to like 2015. Like <laughs> what are those two doing? <laughs> so, um, I did see somebody ask about story time earlier. Not sure what that was referencing. However, I do have another good story as a follow-up to last week. Um, does anybody remember the chocolate hand story from last week? Yes. Yes. Apparently, chocolate he, covered pretzels. Apparently, he was at it again today, chasing mom through the house. Did it again while I was at work, so I missed it. Don't know what happened, but follow up. He's still at it, chasing mom with chocolate fingers. That's please, so awesome. please teach him to yell chocolate covered pretzels. <laughs> yes, <laughs> please. I'll have to try to get him to say that here. Um, he's get he's Just, getting pretty wordsy, so he, that might be something he might be able to show rock him that out. clip. Show him the smile on fucking what's his name's face when Jason Lee asks him. Show him the clip, and then he can start emulating it. <laughs> so, so is it his version of "Mom"? Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? <laughs> right. <laughs> Apparently, because uh, she said he did try to chase her down while she was That's trying awesome. to get wipes to clean him up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's your story. Um, I think everybody's knocked everything out of the park, but um, before I get into anything, uh, Socrates, thank you for coming on. It was a pleasure having you here. Um, anytime Sounds that you're able guy. to it, 
able to do it again when you're not working or sleeping, by all means, you're always welcome. Um, always nice to have someone new on there. And um, I think I fucking pick, picked up on what they were talking about. I forgot to have you tell your vape story. Son of a bitch. That means you have to come on again. So that way you can do so. Yep. Uh, you got to come on again, Socrates. Yep. That's what we get for getting off in uh, La La Land talking about 40 different thousand kinds of booze and firearms and whatever else came up. Um, Tobacco and firearms. A couple yeah. things that I think um, I see G pointed something out that was missed. Don't forget, um, be watching Instagram for the VC4 ADV. Um, that's GP4, coming up GP4 in Oct October. Yes. So um, keep your eyes Still peeled. Collecting. Still collecting if anybody's interested. You can get in touch with me or Giancarlo or Addy Tooney or Dear Addy on Instagram. We'll get you we'll get you pointed in the right direction. That's it. And be ready to buy some waffle tickets because it's all going to be going to a good cause. There's no yeah. need to buy them. I'm going to win. It's okay. I like waffles. Um, I like waffles. Yeah. I'll be saving up for that one. Likewise. If, it, if it's anything like it was last year, oh, good God. Uh, you're set for at least a year for a coil wise. That's that's a fucking given. You won't have to buy or make a coil for at least a year. Given. Yeah. No, it's the price pack. The price packs back in like July were as big as they were last year. There, it's it's bigger. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think the only people, the only thing those people had to buy was batteries. I don't think anyone that won any of those has had to buy anything other than batteries since then. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, huh, there was so many different mods that were in them. You, you weren't going to run out of something new to try, that's for sure. Hell yeah. Different atomizers. Everybody's coming together great for that stuff. Um, so make sure you're following that. Also, um, go do some of your own advocacy. Um, remember, it's not for yourself. It's not for any of these guys up here along the top of the screen or for myself or for you out there watching. It's for that person that comes behind us. That hasn't made that switch off the stinkies yet. Because they need to get off their butts and vape. So we have to do our part in order to advocate for them. And yes, Socrates, you son of a bitch, you did get away with it. Not next time. Next time I will be on top of it. And if I'm not, I'm going to get a cattle prod and I'll cattle prod myself right on the show. Um, so, uh, anyhow. Advocacy, education, do it in a way that's not being a dick about it. Just, just nice and smooth and easy. Um, I think everybody knocked everything out of the park with who to go check out. Uh, vaping swag, get you some of those lemonades. Go over to Adore, whoops, get that lemon ecstasy. Uh, also, go check out West End D Liquids, um, myself. And Ray now have coupon codes over there. So Leafa or Golf Space T. And that's T E E variety, not just the letter. Meter um, works over there as well. Oh, Meter so works. So does Fresh 03. And it's the same. Fresh 03 as well. That's right. Just about everything. Um, surprisingly enough, we didn't get Pink Pussy over there yet. Although that could possibly change if we persuade him enough. Uh, All one word. All lowercase West End. And that's it. Right? Universal coupon code. It's really easy to do. Uh, also works over at omegadoneliquid.com, but needs to be uppercase over there. Because the Don Carlo, Carlo likes big pink pussies. So, it's the easiest way to remember it. Um, also, you can also use it at a door as well. Dawn Lower likes case. little pink pussies. She likes little pink yeah. pussies. So. Right. And in fact, you know what? Um, West End, you make the decision. Do you like big or little pink pussies? We don't judge either way. Hey, the code is all that matters. Control. That's it. Um, also, what else did I miss in here? Um, I don't know if anybody was paying attention to the Coil Vapes page lately. If they saw the new um, labelings for Coil Vapes, they're fucking beautiful. Don't forget, check out Coil Vapes. Dean over there makes some phenomenal liquids. That this one, though, oh, that stuff is phenomenal. So is that Carnival. Oh. And everything else that's on tap over there. Huh. 
vaping swag. Get yourself an Addy Tooney t-shirt since he's going to be on on Friday um, doing some live torch in there with Niji. Um, he needs to make a Niji shirt for this. Ooh. <laughs> make sure it's Ren. Yeah, Vape make, team. That's right. Uh, there's also it's all available at Vaping Swag. A Leafa shirt. There is a Meter shirt over there as there well. Is. It's oh, the only sparkly shirt Vaping Swag offers. Sparkle tag. Uh, and that's all under the Freaky Fresh Friends section. So, all of those ones, he doesn't make any money off of. That all goes to advocacy. So, yeah, it's all donated to advocacy. Go get it. Go that's pick right. those ones up there. Um, he's doing that out of the pure kindness of his heart to help with the advocacy scene as well. So, not only are you getting a wicked piece of ape gear, but you are also advocating at the same time great thing it's like buying the uh Addy's yogurt concentrate off of a door you're getting great vape and on top of it you're advocating yeah. so just remember it's any way you can do it if you can't donate directly there's other ways around it go get a t-shirt go buy a concentrate do yourself a flavor i agree other than that, i don't think i have anything else to say um other than don't be a dick. Remember what I said earlier. If you're that cocksucker, feel free to unsubscribe. Um, I don't give a damn. Um, if you're not that cocksucker and you guys like hanging out, by all means, come back. Love having you here. Thank you, everyone, who showed up in chat there. I tried to follow along as much as I could. I know I missed a lot of shit tonight, though, because I wasn't with it. But, you know, what's new? Uh, we never go in the same direction I think we're going to go. Uh, you guys have a fantastic day, a wonderful night um, if you are here in the stateside. But for Socrates, you have a great day even though you snuff out without your vape story. Motherfucker. Um, <laughs> see, that's what happens. You come on the show, you sneak out of shit, you start getting cussed. So don't feel bad. And don't get upset, uh -huh. you goddamn <laughs> Uber driver. Okay, oh, that no. was a little below the belt. I'm sorry. I'll that retract was way that one. Below the belt. That was way below the belt. My bad. <laughs> that, uh, I that take that one back. straight to his testicles, TJ. Oh, fuck. That, that one was way wrong. My bad. Fuck Uber. There you go. Um, <laughs> there you go. Try to alleviate my problem there a little bit. Anyhow, you guys have a wonderful evening or day wherever you are in the world. And as always, my name's TJ. You're watching Golf T Vapes. And who wants to take us off the air since Giz is in jail tonight? Masturbate. <laughs> Keep up your buttons, vape. Keep up your buttons.